Well, my freshman year, I wasn't sure that I wanted to run track and field, and so I didn't my freshman year. And then after that, I was like, you know, I really would like to like be a part of something, and like I missed running and working out. And so sophomore year, trained all fall, and then going into Christmas break, well, it was going into Thanksgiving break, I ended up having my health issues. Health issues happen for athletes. It's part of the job, but for Courtney, Hers was a little out of the ordinary. It was Cat Girls weekend and I was selling tickets with one of my teammates and my left side just started acting really weird. I like was unable to tear the tickets and of course it was like the coldest game of the season that year and so everyone was like, oh, your hands are probably just cold and like whatnot. And so I just continued to sell, sell tickets and the next day I was like really sick. My head hurt really bad. I had left side weakness. I mean, I was, what, 20 years old? I didn't know that I was having like a stroke or like whatever I was going through at the moment. So that was like really tough to like find out that at such a young age, like you, you think that your worst thing is like getting the flu or something, you know? Courtney went to the student health services on the Montana State campus who sent her to the emergency room for an MRI. And within hours, she was being flown to Billings. When I first got flown to um, Billings, I was told that I didn't need surgery right away. It was something that like could have been held out. Her MRI showed brain abnormalities, but Courtney decided to side with doctors and postpone her surgery. But then things got serious. Later that week when I was going to get released, um, that's when I had went unconscious and um, I don't know, they said I was like acting really weird and so um, that's when they decided that I needed to go in for surgery right away due to my brain was swelling. Surgery was successful, but it wasn't until a few months later that Courtney found out she had a blood disorder called Factor V Leiden. The disease is a mutation in the clotting of the blood, which can develop into abnormal blood clotting. Before a diagnosis that required brain surgery, Courtney says it was the best possible outcome. Yeah, I would have said that, you know, a lot of people live their entire life not knowing that they have factor five light and, and it, it just happened that something triggered mine and um, I got a blood clot from it, which a blood clot in your brain obviously is probably not good, but like um, I, I definitely am thankful for not having to go through any more surgeries and then just being able to come back and do what I love. But that love didn't come back right away. I had to walk laps, like coming back, that was my workout, or you know, um, right after brain surgery I was playing cards as a like kind of mind workout. Like it was just, it was the coming back was just so different from like any other injury. I didn't want to walk laps, I didn't want to watch my teammates like be getting so much better in me just not really, you know, getting better in my own way, but just not really getting anywhere as far as like I wanted to. Then the day came that she was able to line up at the starting line. It was interesting. I'm pretty sure I ran like a 16 second 100. <laughs> like it was really slow. And I, I mean, like I also like I was bald and like people knew what I'd gone through and like I just was like really embarrassed. I definitely felt like I was like, why am I doing this? And how am I ever going to get back to where I was? And after all that, how did she keep going? I definitely couldn't set two goals too high. I mean, there were days where I didn't have a good workout or I didn't have a good race in the track meet and I just needed to like remember like what I went through wasn't like just a small injury. It was something that has probably taken me a few years to get back from and I'm just very thankful for everyone that like stuck by me. Now, I just am like really thankful that I like stuck with it. Flash forward to now, Courtney is used to finishing strong. Her senior career at Montana State has been nothing short of amazing, but in the race of life, this might be her best finish yet. Um, I would definitely say how well I'm doing is a miracle. At one point, I definitely didn't want to run this year, and um, it was it was really hard. It took a lot of my parents, especially, um, telling me, you know, like just give it one more year. You have one more year. What's it What's it going to do? You know, like you were at rock bottom one time. It can't get any worse. I definitely am so thankful for like what has come my way and how it has taught me to one take not take things for like granted and just be able to look at the bigger picture, you know, when things aren't going right to just stay humble and, you know, just run your race basically. In Bozeman, Brooke Leonard, MTN Sports.